Uh, yes, sir, Kushi, you can begin. I've already sent the link to everyone, all the groups. Great. It's also on the chat box. Yeah, right. perfect. Yeah. Uh, we can begin, right? Uh, you can also resume the recording because it says it's paused. Great. All right. Uh, let's begin. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the career orientation session. The future depends on the choices you make today. HR is here to guide you to make the right choice for your career. I'd like to welcome Dr. Pooja Ramchandani, Principal of HR College, our Vice Principal Professor Larger Sharma Ma'am, all the degree college faculty and the students. Today, we will be exploring two more profound courses offered at the degree level, which are BAF, Bachelors of Accounting and Finance, and BBI, Bachelors in Banking and Insurance. I extend a warm welcome to our speakers today, Professor Poonam Jain and Professor Rahul Mishra. Let's start off by getting to know about BAF by Professor Poonam Jain. I'd like to ask Ara to introduce Poonam Ma'am now. Good evening, everybody. Professor Poonam Jain is the BAF program coordinator, teacher in charge, BAF committee, um, member of the exam committee and BOS of accountancy and finance. She is an All India rank holder in the CA final and CS final examination and is associated with HR for the past 11 years. We welcome you, Professor Poonam Jain. She is the co host, right? Yes, she is. Uh, somehow I'm not able to start my video. Are you able to now? Even if you could like speak and share the screen, that would be great, ma'am. I think, you know, Puna, ma'am, you know, why don't you just start talking and I think it will be done eventually. Yeah. So thank you guys. So sorry, due to some technical glitch, I'm not able to start my video. I'm trying it on another device. Uh, so talking about the BAF course, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, say it's a wonderful initiative which is taken year on year by Professor Anupma, which to help uh, the students, the junior college students to decide which stream is good for them. Uh, so as usual, we understand that we are a state of confused minds because too many options leads to too many confusions. So we are sure whether this or that, or we are always unsure as to what we have to do in life. So uh, talking about HR specifically, HR has a lot of self-finance courses, one of which is Bachelors of Accounting and Finance. Now, as the name suggests, accounting and finance is the forte year. So here, primarily, what we study is the are uh, in the SEM one and SEM two subjects which are generalized, which remain same for all the unaided courses. But as we move towards SEM three, four, five, six, you start getting a specialization more in accounting and finance based papers along with law. So these three are the pillars on which you build your masters. So let's say you're planning to do something ahead in accountancy, finance, or law any stream it could be either a cfa or a ca or an llb so it will give you the guiding uh, support or the curriculum will match to that curriculum which will help you uh, understand those professional courses better at the same time now with the introduction of the hsnc university Earlier, we were studying under the Mumbai University. And as we know, Mumbai University is a was a stereotype syllabus with no reformations being made across years. But now, 
since we have got that status wherein we can remove the stuff which is redundant and we can put in the stuff which is more industry specific or which is more at par with the current industrial uh, requirements we've done so so to cut the long story short um, the curriculum is intense it is related to accounting and finance and uh, it will be helpful for you to if you are pursuing a career either in the field of uh, chartered accountancy company secretary icwa uh, all these related a law related a masters in law or a masters in finance to tell you in detail as to what are the subjects uh, we have uh, a, we have students speaking about the program to give you a guide as to what you'll be studying across the semesters so i request uh, dhruv to share the screen and give you an idea about what the subjects are about in bap thank you uh, sure ma'am so first of all good evening to one and all present here i hope you all are safe and doing well uh, myself Dwaj Solanki, along with Nishika Kokta, on behalf of the students of Bachelors of Accounting and Finance, I am glad to welcome our principal, Ms. Pooja Ramchandani, our exam committee head, Ms. Rani Tyagi, and our professor in charge, Ms. Poonam Jain, and all the students to the introductory orientation program of HR College of Commerce and Economics. So today we are here to dive into what the course BAF has to offer. The students of BAF have come along and put together a video. so casting the various subjects covered in the course it also portrays several professional courses one can pursue alongside baf the following video which are we about to play will give you a deep insight into the course which will assist you in making an informed decision so without any further ado i would request nishika gokta to please share the video yeah just give me a minute uh yeah do i just my uh, screen is visible yeah nishika it's visible cool. University of Mumbai since its inception in 1960 HR College of Commerce and Economics has an enrollment of more than 6000 students in its degree as well as its junior college it is always emphasized on faculty development academia industry linkages internationalization and on student empowerment the college has not only achieved excellent academic standards but has also simultaneously created opportunities for all around development of students through sports and cultural activities Talking about academics, the college has never compromised it. And we, as the students of bachelors in accounting and finance, would like to introduce you to this exciting course. Introduction. Bachelor of Accounting and Finance or BAF is an undergraduate program that allows students to obtain the knowledge and skills required to manage and handle various accounting and financial management activities across various forms of organization. Apart from this the course also focuses on subjects like business law business mathematics auditing taxation management accounting human values etc to make the course more holistic in its approach the course also focuses on developing the students analytical angle which helps the students dissect the financial statements interpret and analyze them to make decisions program objectives develop an in-depth knowledge on standing and skill in accounting and finance to develop essential skill set to cater various position in the financial sector be able to apply concepts and techniques to accounting and finance in your organizational settings build a strong foundation of knowledge in different areas through a combination of theoretical and practical knowledge financial accounting 
financial accounting. The course focuses on preparation, presentation analysis, compliance, taxation and accounting framework applicable to the entities to make the students well versed in financial accounting. The students will learn the relevant accounting standards used by companies, be able to record basic accounting transactions and prepare financial statements of a manufacturing concern. The subject will help you to understand and apply various methods of recording depreciation along with learning special accounting areas like fire insurance claims and departmental accounts. It widens the knowledge regarding accounting for the issue of shares and debentures besides accounting basic accounting transition for the underwriting of the same. Students will also acknowledge the application of various methods of branch accounting and grasp special accounting areas such as higher purchase and lease accounting. Cost accounting Cost accounting is a method of managerial accounting that aims to capture the total production cost of a business by measuring the variable cost of each production cycle as well as the fixed cost such as a lease expense. Cost accounting familiarizes the students with cost accounting terms, methods and policies. The subject imparts knowledge about the practical aspect of cost controlling that is how to control the cost of a firm and cost of separate contracts. It comprises of recognizing, recording, examining, summarizing and studying the company's cost spent on any process, product, service or anything in the organization. Macroeconomics Check will help students identify and explain microeconomic variables and understand the economic forces that identify and determine them. It integrates theoretical knowledge with quantitative and qualitative evidence of the past economic activities and formulate the predictions about the future ones. The subject also evaluates the consequences of the economic activities and institutions at the macro level. The basic feature of the alternative of the human behavior in economics will also be pointed out by the subject. Information Technology Information technology acquaints the students with the art of professionalism which includes the professional style of making presentations using keyboard shortcuts and presenting the same to a large number of audiences. Documentation is another aspect that is emphasized by the subject on how to select the correct format, layers and alignment in the documents. It provides hands-on working experience with working with spreadsheet basic skills in terms of practice. As far as theory is concerned, the students will be acquainted with the knowledge of computer, software, SAP and some programming languages like Python. Business Law It highlights the importance of law in day-to-day -day life by identifying and understanding various laws applicable to individuals and business concerns. It provides elementary knowledge about the process of various legal transactions that occur in the business world. It draws interest by acknowledging the way of exercising your legal rights in the case of breach or violation in the transactions in the corporate world. The students will be able to know and understand the laws pertaining to negotiable instruments which will help them in understanding the dealings and rights of consumers in the everyday world. Business Mathematics and Statistics the subject fortifies the students to think logically and provide numerical output which enables decision making, problem solving where unbiased and non-judgmental outputs are desired in form of concise numbers. It complements qualitative thinking where both are to be looked at as two sides of a coin before providing a solution to a problem. For the students further development, the subject provides a window into the areas of analytics and big data. It throws light upon the application of quantitative techniques in production, marketing and various other fields which will empower the students to quantify the data and analyze it for research. Business Communication As the name suggests, the subject enhances interpersonal skills that contribute to personal, social and professional relationships to gain knowledge about channels and methods of communication and learn their applications. The student also acquires skills to handle interview questions, conferences, group discussions and meetings along with drafting letters essential for business correspondence. Audit 
Auditing describes how information technology affects the internal control and determines the appropriate audit report given in the audit situation. It also acknowledges the process of designing and performing test of control and explains the methods used to obtain an understanding of the internal control. Students will also be able to comprehend the five conditions required to issue the standard unqualified audit report. Foundation course. It recognizes the pluralistic nature of Indian society, sensitizes the gender disparity, impact of globalization, factors that cause stress, and how to manage them in the present time. The course also introduces the concept of human rights and fundamental rights, which create awareness about the growing social problems in India, their challenges and remedies. It captivates the relevance of emotional quotient in daily life, basic behavior pattern of humans, which are the most important resources of the business and appropriately deal with them. It prioritizes the culture, demographic and the multi generation in the society. Conclusion In conclusion, what we are trying to explain through this video is the various aspects that are covered in BAF course and the career choices that you could pursue after this course are Chartered Accountant, Financial Risk Management, MBA in Finance, Chartered Finance Analyst and Company Secretary. There are various job opportunities too that you could get after doing BAF course. Some of them are Auditor, Accountant, Export or Import Manager, Tax Consultant, Stock Broker. Also, all the 9 subjects that you got information regarding earlier in this video will help you grow and be prepared to choose a good career ahead. I hope this uh, video was helpful to all the students uh, in knowing more about the BAF course. So before we move on to the doubts uh, regarding the BAF course, uh, we have exclusively a committee which is only there for BAF students. And I would like Dwaj to please uh, screen share the PPT for this slide. Yeah, just give me a second. Nishir, can you see my screen? Uh, no, it's not possible. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we have BAF committee, which is uh, which was initiated in the year 2020 by our respected principal ma'am, Pooja Ramchandani ma'am, and our professor in charge, Ms. Poonam Jain ma'am, to widen the scope of the of the curriculum and broaden the students' intellectual capacity. So apart from academics, we also focus on doing some fun activities uh, with the help of this committee. Uh, can you move to the next slide? Our committee strives for breaking the monotony of book learning and introducing a practical approach to the uh, that would expose you to a wide variety of knowledge. So uh, we learn more about more much more more about theory in the BAF course. Uh, so BAF committee helps us to move um, towards the practical world. Uh, we uh, we we organize activities which will give you insights of the practical world. Uh, can you move to the next slide, please? The committee tries to bring in various renowned corporate personalities from different walks of the life for holding several insightful uh, discussions and attempts to cover everything that is not the part of the curriculum and make BAF uh, a more holistic course. Uh, can you move to the next one?
In the year, the committee has conducted various workshops such as Tally, Photoshop, MSS, MS Excel, and webinars on artificial intelligence, analysis of financial statements, global economic after COVID, and much more, much more insightful webinars. Uh, can you move to the next slide? Uh, besides all those formal events, the committee also hosts several informal events such as Halloween party or a movie night, and we have a number of ice breaking sessions so that the, uh, so that the students know each other and build and socialize more. Uh, can you move to the next slide? For the upcoming term, we have numerous exciting things in the store for you guys uh so we we also look forward to having you all to be the new faces of the committee and taking it to greater heights in the future for future updates regarding the BAF committee these are our social media platforms uh thank you now we'll take up your doubts regarding the BAF course um, actually, uh, can we just do that at the end of the session? Because uh, we'll just like to do BBI also. Yeah. And then we'll take the doubts together. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Yes, sure. Thank you so much, Professor Poonam Jen and the students of the BAF committee. It was a great insight into BAF. Uh, we'll move on with BBI. We have with us Professor Rahul Sharma, who is the BBI coordinator. He is the NSS program officer. He's been teaching from the past six years at HR College, and he has co-authored books for undergraduate courses on cost accounting, financial accounting, auditing, etc. The floor is yours, sir. Please let us know. Thank you so much. Uh, by the way, I'm Professor Rahul Mishra and not Sharma. Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm no worries. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for the opportunity. I, I went for, before I start, I thank uh, our principal, Dr. Jan Chandani, ma'am, for keeping such insightful sessions. Students have just uh, passed out the 12th standard and, and the minds that what to select and what to not what to select. But Anam, you rightly said, too many options which you can in. So we are here to clear some doubts and confusions with respect to the courses which we have at our degree level. So when we talk about BBI, let me know the screen is visible to all of you. Uh, the screen visible? Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, thank you. So when we talk about uh, BBI, it's one of the most important, I can say, sectors in the economy. Uh, anywhere we talk about, uh, in, if, if we talk about COVID or post or pre COVID or post COVID session, the most important sector is your banking sector, which runs the entire economy. You require funds, you require insurance, you require any kind of financial activity to be done banks and insurance are companies are involved whether it is share markets whether it is uh, your companies your business to be run the place where they go for funds is nothing but the banks and the financial sector and the insurance sector and to cover uh, to cover such the bfs side the banking financial service plan. okay so the when you talk about bbi it's a three-year course 26 semesters where we teach uh, subjects we can finance banking accounting insurance law regulations it and many more things to ensure the students know about the specialized part about the bank insurance. It's a form of specialization in banking and insurance where uh, you, you go in detail regarding various aspects about the banking insurance, like merchant banking, retail banking, corporate banking, uh, information technology in banking sector, the laws related banking sector, which have recently come across. Okay, so regarding the course, this is the uh, subjects that are there in semester one, which is more of a general kind of uh, subject, where as there was in BAF, have EMFS, uh, environmental management fund services, terms of management, communication, economics, mathematics, financial accounts, foundation posts, which are similar to what's there in the other courses also, because these are general things. Later on, when we move on to uh, specialized ones, these are subjects like this is ethics and corporate governance, financial markets, foundation course in retail banking, information technology, mutual fund management, direct tax, organizational behavior, credit risk management, research methodology, financial planning, financial management, cost accounting, and customer management. These are kind of subjects which you get as compulsory, and also there are some electives to, uh, to it, which students will offer according to their choice. 
uh, why banking first of why should we take what opportunities are there it's going to be important to understand let's understand what uh, banking holds in the economy as such so banking sector holds immense pride to contribute regarding uh, for 7.7 percent to the national gdp prime employment the grouping of 1.5 million people in our country are generating employment in the uh, banking sector the insurance sector, the life insurance sector is growing at a rate of 12 percent. The health insurance sector growing at a staggering of 35 percent. The immense growth and NPFC microfinance industries have resulted in creation of consolidated sector as BFSI, the banking finance service providing company, insurance company. So if you look at this, the, there's immense growth. And since COVID, uh, there's been immense growth with respect to the digital payments going on, the, uh, the fintech coming in. So there's immense opportunity if you specialize in the banking insurance sector. Uh, the India's fintech adoption rate has uh, high, is highest in the world, uh, along with China, it is in person, which is above the global average of 64%. The number of startups which have come across uh, in banking insurance sector and the BFS sector also, where uh, especially in the fintech sector, and we are growing ex extremely well in doing in, in, this in this particular field. The digital payments, if today we are uh, if, if you talk about uh, payments everywhere from small shopkeeper to the biggest showroom available, everyone is going digital, digital payments. Now, we are the, there's, we're going to a concept slowly where there'll be no bank, uh, uh, motor big banks, everything's going digital. So there's immense opportunity if you take this particular course and do well in this particular sector. Okay. So there's a BBA committee also along with us. Uh, all the committees are there. Uh, apart from that, we have BBA committee also. It's again, uh, the uh, brainchild of Dr. Uh, of, uh, Principal Dr. Pizaram Chandani, ma'am. The various sessions can be organized by the banking committee. We have also organized World uh, Investor Week along with uh, the uh, agencies which are authorized to do so. Okay. Apart from that, when we talk about banking and committee, we are looking at uh, having uh, different programs for them. Where we have, I am thinking about having. Uh, a mentor mentee program where people from the industry will be your mentor specifically for a group of people. There will be different kind of uh, different uh, people from the industry. Are there'll be alumni co connect? If our alumni who are working in the industry will be coming and talking to you and sharing the experiences, which will help you to prepare yourself for the future. <clears throat> okay. Uh, which organized normally? Uh, what after banking? What kind of areas you can choose? The uh, you can go into banks, insurance companies, fintech companies, NBFCs, startups, you can appear for uh, the banking exams or banking probationary officers in SBI. Uh, you can go for exams uh, and entry exams into RBI, NABARD, uh, such are the area, areas we can generally not uh, talk and discuss, but if you take bank, banking insurance uh, as, a, as a specialization, these are the areas which are open to you. Many of are placed in the forms of Ernest uh, and Young, LLP, Tata Capital, National Bank Corporate, Dave Morgan, Dutch Bank, uh, after BBI also, you have numerous options available to you of doing CFP, Certified Financial Planning, CFA, Financial Risk Management, Chartered Accountancy, uh, MBA, MSc Finance, and a lot. So there are no limits specifically when you talk about industry as such. You can you can go into the human resource part of banking sector, you go into sales and marketing in the banking sector. You can take up this part, you can take the legal part. So banking industry itself is huge and there's numerous opportunities available. I can say plethora of opportunities available if you specialize in the field of banking and insurance. Let me tell you, most of the people, uh, most of the people are also uh, to BMS or BAB and uh, doing jobs or careers in the bank sector. So if you specialize in your uh, bank in, in the banking insurance, there are a lot of opportunities available which will help you have a golden career ahead. So that's it. Thank you so much for my side. And now for sharing experience, I've also called up one of my alumni, Nehal Kapasi, who will be sharing experience with all of you. Nehal, are you there? Nehal? Nehal, are you there? Can someone help unmute Nehal? Nehal, are you there? Uh, sorry, sir. Just a moment. Yeah. Are you able to see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hi, good evening, everyone. Thank you for having me on this call, Rahul, sir. 
so to talk about bbi as an overall course one of the biggest uh, one of the strongest points of bbi is that while it is specialization in banking and insurance it also enables us it also has in depth training for different subjects like accounting finance subjects of commerce and it gives an overview of the financial market etc which is why my uh, classmates from my batch today were all in such varied fields in spite of having studied the same course the students who have studied who are working in the equity and derivative market right now i have um, i had uh, immediately after graduating from banking and insurance i started working with ey and uh, i am working as a business consultant and alongside i started studying llb and um, the foundation for my interest in llb was also through bbi because we had a subject related to uh, law which is why banking law which is why i was interested to take up uh, llb and uh, in a similar manner because of the subject that was research methodology that we had in banking and insurance one of our friends is using the same thing for his phd right now uh, the research techniques that we were talking taught and all the practical implications as well um and even though the course was banking and insurance because of all the communication skills and all the soft skills that we were taught it enabled another peer to join marketing and uh, he did join marketing in a bank as well so in conclusion banking and insurance is such a course that whilst it is a specialization course it also enables us to um have career options open after we graduate and because of the practical implications and all the subjects that we study we are also in a better position to choose exactly what career that we want to pursue thank you thank you thank you neil so that the uh, shivas is uh, alumni and one of the best students of a college who's working right now in by and and as i said uh, it's big common banking insurance especially in banking insurance but all the other options are still available and specifically in today's world if you see uh, banks have become had a, had a major role to play in pandemic every industry was closing down but banks and pharma was still open running throughout the pandemic if you see uh, money has a huge role to play in one of the most important pillars of the economy so especially in banking insurance uh, there's a golden chance golden opportunity for you to have a golden career in this particular sec- sector Uh, the fintech has a major revolution you are today every single payment which is going across is on digital mode itself it's paytm it's google pay etc link to your account you have you have you, you cannot think today without uh, paytm etc everywhere you go and say google pay karo if you if you think about it, so how banking is developing it's 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 specializing the laws with the banking are changing so if you want to do career in law you can take up law especially in the banking field Okay, if you want to do IT part, you can make you can uh, do programming, learn languages, and prepare softwares and uh, payment gateways, which will help, which will is, which is having a huge scope in, and or demand. You can go for audit part. You can go forensic audit. Numerous things. Accounting is still available. If you for accounting part, you can take your career in the banking sector in the accounting field. The numerous government uh, banks which are there, you say there, which are having their exams. If you are paid for the exams. you can be a part of this particular uh, government sector uh, banks or or government agencies like nabard like rbi like like uh, sbi so think on this and i believe this particular sector has opportunities plethora of opportunities and you must try and definitely go for this thank you so much thank you so much rahul sir and ms nehal it was such a great insight into the bbi course i think now we can start by taking some questions anupama uh, yes kushi you know in fact i can see one question from arpita mishra can you read it out kushi uh, to the concerned teachers sure so if yeah. one is pursuing for banking exam sbi po then which course is advisable baf or bbi i think rahul you need to take this up see as I, as i said uh, this sbi uh, uh, sbi pu exams are more of uh, testing your skills and knowledge with respect to your uh, logical part or your uh, english part or, or such kind of thing it's more like an entrance exam which you appear for uh, uh, your uh, mba programs or something like that so it doesn't matter whether you appear for you take baf or bbi you can uh, still appear for sbi pu but if you, if you just talking about uh, the, uh, banking sector then advisable if you looking at this advisable to take bbi itself and rahul please clear that myth that banking and insurance doesn't mean that you have to go to the bank and work huh? exactly that is, that's, uh, that's please what, that's don't go according to the name 
that's why I said it's BCom in banking insurance, specializing in banking. As, as I said, our students are already working in EF, ENY, KPMG, Deloitte, and whatnot. And if you're going to bank, bank does not mean sitting in the bank and working. There are numerous things happening in banking. Banking itself is a huge industry. Okay. There is human risk, so there's marketing, there is uh, there's, uh, there's customer management, there's IT part, there's legal part. It's an industry all together. So please do not just think that you have to go and sit in the bank and uh, keep on withdrawing cash and taking cash, nothing like that. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a sector all together. There are numerous opportunities available. So do not just think that you have to sit in the bank and do all the clerical work. One of the general questions is always cut off, cut off for BAS, cut off for BBI. I think uh, so as, as Pooja ma'am already said that cutoff will depend upon the percentage of 12th of uh, CBSC and Maharashtra State Board. It will, the cutoff will decide that how much will the percentage will go. So we can't say that uh, what will be the cutoff. We can't predict the cutoff now. Yeah, correct. So students, the cutoff will depend upon the number of applications. Depends how many people apply from all over Maharashtra. How many people apply? It will depend upon that. As Rani ma'am, you know, rightly said just now. So don't ask again and again, you know, every single day. Um, one question has come across. Is it possible to do CA with BAF for BBI? So in both cases, you can do your CA al along with that. But if you're looking at doing CA, then I'll, I'll suggest to take BAF as well because BAF has more relevant subjects in terms of accountancy, which is related to mm -hmm. your yeah, yeah. course. There'll be a more, uh, it's a more related course to CA. But you can do B, a BBI and CA and DAP and CA both. It's possible. But then, you know, Rahul, sir, they will again ask, is it, you know, shouldn't one do BCom with the CA rather than BAF with CA? The BAF has more, it's accounting finance is more specialized. So if you look at the syllabus of BAF and look at the syllabus of CA intermediate or CA final, you get more relevant subjects and related subjects and topics. <laughs> Some we take or we teach there is related to your charter one course itself. So if you take BAF and it's a, and CA, it is most similar, and you have a specialized degree as well as your charter one degree along with it. Which uh, oh. Puna Ma'am will agree with me if, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Also, a lot of students want to know if the timings will clash with the BAF timings with CA. Uh, so. We work in the morning shift, so we work, uh, our college hours start from around 9.30 and they go up to 1.40 and sometimes on certain days till 2.30. So, uh, students who are pursuing BAF and CA together will have to juggle a bit. Uh, life is not going to be easy because as we, as said, these are our specialized courses and we have ensured that the system which ensures that Students need to be present in the class for presentations, for projects. So I will not say that it will be easy for the students to pursue a BAF with a CA degree, but definitely, the as Rahul, Professor Rahul said, that the subjects are related, interrelated. So you're doing the same subject uh, over and over again. So you've already built a base. So that way, uh, BAF is more useful as compared to a PCOM. Uh, Jeet Sony is asking which commercial software is taught in IT under BAF? Uh, under BAF, we are right now only teaching Microsoft Excel uh, and we do the general MS Office and we do the tally. We teach the tally. So these are the softwares which we are teaching under BAF. Uh, okay, uh, you know, Purnam ma'am, you know, one parent had called me in the morning today. Can you, uh, can you hear me, Puna, ma'am? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one of the parents had called me and the parent was asking me, uh, you know, about uh, uh, one second that, you know, the I mean, the student wants to pursue a BAF, but the, the student is a little ap apprehensive whether he will get admission for BAF or not. So uh, basically, uh, you know, the parent was asking me, should he for the time being secure his admission in BCom? Because you know, because he does not have guarantee about uh, about BAF. Anupama, I just want to add here that this is the best way. That to just take admission wherever you are first getting admission. Then later on, if you are uh, getting admission in BAF, you can change from BCom to BAF. Yeah. But first, secure your admission in BCom. It's very important to secure the admission first. 
perfect perfect i think all students have heard that students i, I hope everybody has heard what uh, rani ma'am had to say because later on what hap- later on what happened ki they didn't take the admission in bcom also they didn't get them in the the baf also bms also and then they again come back to us ki ma'am please ab hame bcom mein le lijiye then they will struggle so it's better to secure your admission first in bcom perfect perfect so guys remember please do not be na ghar ka na ghat ka yeah secure your admission in bcom ara please read out some questions a lot of students are asking when the admission process starts and where they can apply uh, for admission yeah the admission process will start very soon within uh, i think one to two day and we will notify it on the hsnc university website as well as the hr college website so be active on both these vector websites yes nazneen would you like to uh, would you like to unmute yourself nazneen yes jajdani yes yes uh, sorry mine was the same question uh, when will the admission process start but i got my answer thank you so much so okay, uh, basically yeah. we'll have to check on the websites will anything come on the hr official group which you all have ha yeah, we will let you know there also but okay. first be attentive on the website we will post there also okay and this will be uh, everything an online process right yes yes admission process will be online online and uh, in how students will get the preference in how students course. will get the preference in bcom not in self finance courses bcom right so yes, we BCom. have to apply on the hsnc website or the hr website Ma'am, the link the, we will share one link. You have to apply on that particular link. The link will be common on both the websites. They will direct you to the portal. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Uh, we have another okay. question. By... I just add uh, to what Nazneen said. Uh, will there be an in-house quota for self-finance courses? Normally, it is not. Basically, uh, I'm requesting all uh, in-house students. that if you are looking at uh, getting above 90 or 85 percentage students whoever has got it look at the merit list if you are falling short of one or two marks in the merit list don't worry just wait do not panic wait you can come down and meet me in my office as is in the principal's office then we can see where we can accommodate you in the merit list or apart from that if there is any seat vacant do not panic and as dr rani said that if you are very far from cutoffs and you are a bcom student it is better you to secure your seat in bcom because many a times it has happened that we had to say no to our own bcom because bcom students also uh, the ones which are not taken by in house goes out to the outsiders on merit and they start taking up our seats very fast so it should not happen that our own in house students who are not very sure about any courses in higher merit list lose out onto their percentages or onto their seat so please as dr rani advised if you are very far from merit list which is first cut off do not wait it is better you secure your bcom seat because by rule this is your in house seat and it is an in house quota for self financing if you are little away from merit you can come down and meet the principal they uh, we, our office will guide you whether you will get it in second or third merit list or no they will advise you accordingly so you are open to come to the meeting uh, yes uh, students anything else yeah uh, ma'am i wanted to ask uh, do we as our students have to fill the mumbai university's pre admission forms no if dear you look, if you are looking no. yes ma'am please yeah. answer yeah no, no, please uh, answer. just to in uh, advise just to tell the students that uh, since 2020 2020 hr college is de affiliated from mumbai university our college along with kc college is now a university itself a public university itself where we are now not affiliated to mumbai university so all the students please note you do not have to fill any form on mumbai university portal you have to only fill form on hr college website which is www.hrcollege.edu it is there if you google it or on hsnc university website 
which is www.hsncu.edu.in. I repeat, www.hsncu.edu.in. The forms will happen mostly by Monday. You have to fill the form. There's only one form that you will fill for all the courses that you want. So if you want to apply for BCom, you want to apply for BMS, BBI, BAP, you want to try your hands on all courses, there's only one single form. You get to choose multiple uh, courses as well as if you are applying for KC or HR, it will be the same form. You have to do your choices. So in HR, the courses that we have, you can select and submit your form, which is only one form or the same form. If you take KC, it goes into KC Kitty Bag. So there's only one single form for HSNC University. All courses that you want to take from HR or KC, wherever you select, wherever your name comes in merit list, the form gets diverted to that particular course. So don't worry. If you think your percentage in near future will not get you a higher course like a BMS or a most demanding course like a BAF or most sought after course like BBI, you can think of applying for multiple courses because many people are asking what will be a cutoff for BAF. Last year, it was about 95 in the first merit list. So people be informed that the merit list in HR are going to be very high. Uh, if you're not close to it, it would be better you apply for multiple courses. And if you are very far from merit list, stay wherever you have secured your admission first. Okay, Pooja, ma'am, you know, someone has you know, just now asked once again, I mean, the question was already answered by Rahul sir some time back, but I think they want to just, you know, have that confidence again and hear it from principal ma'am also. For someone wanting to pursue a CA, uh, would, would doing a BCom or a BAF be more suitable? I think this question should be answered by student himself or herself because you are choosing two professional courses. It could be a BCom or a BAF. College will require your commitment to internal assessment as well as external examinations. The student has to break his time in such a way that his CA doesn't get suffered and the college also don't suffer because we have observed that students choose courses and then they struggle with their internals and their semester and exams so please as you you intro introspect yourself if you are able to manage timing and you can manage two boards you can choose either BAF or BBI and do a CA so there's no particular uh, course that you should choose with CA. You can choose any particular course and you can do CA. Just remember that, yes, there will be requirements in college, including your assignments, your projects, your class tests. Then you should not. There is no minimum attendance uh, as such. Whatever university has prescribed, we follow the same guidelines for attendance. No, but Pooja, ma'am, I think, you know, what uh, Mr. I think this uh, parent, I think, uh, you know, particular parent, Mr. Ardesir is asking is that, uh, you know, if you're wanting to do a CA, uh, you know, will the subjects of BCom or BA, you know, will be more similar with CA and the content, the content and the subjects? What will be more similar to CA? I think this Rahul sir has already answered that BAF and BCom syllabuses are common or similar to CA and uh, BBI will be a bit different. But uh, I think students should do a bit of study themselves. All the subjects, syllabuses of FYSY are on college website. They can look at their CA syllabuses, compare it with the syllabuses of BCom, BAF, BBI, BMS, BWOC, because there is one more course, which is BWOC Wealth Management. So there are so many students picking up BWOC Wealth Management and doing CA or a BBI and doing CA. So it is up to the student to check. Mostly, as Rahul said, it is closer to BAF and BCom and little away from BBI. And also, there are so many students asking, if I get 92%, will I get BAF? Uh, please don't ask such questions because there is no guarantee. Last year, the cutoff was 97% when we began for BAF, BFM, BMS, BBI. So this year, let us see how results are because it depends on 
the results of the students and you apply and then accordingly merit list comes down so if as first merit list is 97% please be assured that third merit list will not go below 94 or 95% because we marginally go down by 1 or 2% it is not possible because thousands of applications come and it becomes difficult sometimes it is just a marginal 0.1% for a drop in second merit list. So if first merit list gets full, then there may not be a second merit list. So we cannot guarantee in the same. So first merit list, our cutoffs are possibly uh, filling up the seats. So if you see that, you better secure your second preferred post wherever you get. Okay, ma'am, one more question which has come up uh, is that, uh, you know, will the, will the college be a little more student friendly when it comes to attendance, uh, you know, as far as students doing BCom with CA are concerned? Will they be more lenient for a BCom with CA or BAF yes. with CA? As we say, HR has always supported students. We always believe. Uh, we never call them as students, but we call them as our brand ambassadors. And HR has always believed that it is the college of the students, by the students, and for the students. So yeah. we will always stand by the students who, uh, who, can, who are looking at or who are pursuing specialized courses. But I believe the brand ambassadors have a responsibility. So as I said, that they choose two boards, they have to make two boards happy. So... It is the responsibility of the child. From our college, we will support them fully. But they have to understand that they have their projects, their assignments, their class tests, their lectures, their guest lectures and the activities. Then they have to choose the right path. But as college, we always support our children when they know their duties and their responsibilities. Uh, thank you, ma'am. And one more thing, you know, can the students apply to both HR as well as KC with that yes. one single form, one single that form? That is what I said. See, when they enter into a form, they will realize that they will be asked whether they are in-house or outsiders. Once they say in-house, then they become HRX. But if they want to choose KC college courses also, they will get a choice. So they will have to uh, get tick, 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 tick on the college as well as on the courses. So in, they can apply in BMS in both colleges. They can apply in BAF in both colleges, wherever their thing is. So as I said, there is one single window, window to enter HSNC University website. So as Rani Ma'am said, that HR College website or HSNC University website, the form is same. Don't get confused. It is only we are placing it at multiple places so that people know that this is the window to enter HR College and KC College. The form uh, is Pujam, yeah, Pujam, another very, very popular question. Students are harassing us with this. That does a HSNC University guarantee us of, a, of an admission or should we secure our admission even you know, just, just for as a precaution? Should we also take admission in Mumbai University and keep or does HSNC University, you know, guarantee us an, uh, us an admission? In some course or the other. See, HSNC University, if they belong to my own junior college, which is HSC, HSC from HR College, their BCOM seat is secured. It is by rule that once they have cleared it a 12th standard from a particular college, they will get admission in BCOM in the same college. So HSNC secures admission or gives them guarantee of admission if they are a pass out of HR College 12 standard or HSC, they will be securing because it is their seat in BCom. Yes, HSNC University will not be able to guarantee in self-finance courses because it is purely on merit. Only HSNC University uh, can give a, a, a statement that 50% of its seats in all courses are for in the minority. So HSNC University, 50% are minority quota seats, which are Sindhi, and the rest are for the rest of the students. But for BCom, HR College, HSC students are secured. So they should, that's what it was said, as Dr. Rani said, or Dr. Uh, uh, Poonam Jain or Professor Rahul Mishra said, that HSC students guaranteed BCom seat is there because it is by rule. 
um, also I can see a question that whether the students should do actual science along with BBA or BAF. So most of the students in BBA who do actual science are uh, taking BBA as an option because that is more related to insurance companies as such. And you have more scope if you if you have more value to it if you do BBA along with actual science. But anyways, if you want to do actual science, all the courses are open. But more specifically, for actual science, you can take BBA. Also, I'd like to add on to what Professor Rahul is saying. And I can see a lot of questions in the chat box as students are asking, ki, along with CA, which is more easy, if it's BCom or PAP. Uh, as uh, our principal said, that you are choosing to pursue two professional courses. So life does not become easy. You have to juggle your time and justify both the, both the courses. You cannot say if I'm doing CA, oh, my BCom is sorted. No, you have to work for BCom as well. And similarly, you have to work for BAP or BPI. So please understand, whichever course you are taking, you will have to juggle a bit. You'll have to put in that extra effort. But trust me, that extra effort will have its merits. Because at the end of the day, if you have done a BCom with a CA, you get that degree. Versus if you have put in more efforts and done a BAF with a CA, which a lot of you have the feeling that BCom is easy and BAF is a little difficult. Okay, if it is difficult and you have put in that effort, then you will get those merits, right? So you can choose to pursue multiple degrees, but the number of degrees that you pursue, you will have to put in the effort. BCom also is now under the 6040 system under the HSNC University. So we all have to come to college for projects, for assignments. There is a continuous evaluation going on. So your presence will be required throughout in college, whether you pursue a BCom, a BBI, a BAF, or whichever program. So I think because I could see uh, which, which course is also one more question, which I think um, everyone asks is, if I want to do this, which is a good fit? If I want to do this, which is a good fit? Again, our principal very wisely said, please do your own study. I can choose for myself. I cannot choose for you. Because what is good for me might not be good for you. So please understand, each one, we all have a flavor of subjects that we like or dislike. All the courses have certain subjects which are overlapping with the professional courses, be BBI, be combat. There is not one course which is a replica of the professional course. No, they overlap, but nothing is a replica. So you choose which other subjects you want to study. Apart from the ones which are overlapping, these are the extra subjects that I need to study in BAF, and these are the extra subjects I need to study in BBI. And if, you're, if your heart says that you want to study those subjects or you are interested in those subjects, then please go ahead and take that professional course. At the end of the day, we are all the self-financed teachers teaching you the same uh, the same curriculum, like teaching you the curriculum. So you get the same quality of teachers across, but it is your choice to choose the subject. So I also say one thing to add on to this, you need to also look at which industry you're looking at. Sometimes you want to plan it. You want to go in banking sector, you want to go into markets, where you're looking at, study about it. And this will help you. The, the goal is set right now is help you to decide your course also. But it's not just about choosing their course or finding out which is uh, going along with it. Also to align it with your respective goal you're looking at. Okay, so right now you think on it that after five, six is down the line, which industry you're targeting at or which area you're targeting at. This will help you a lot in setting a particular course right from uh, for BCom, the undergrad course also and the master's also later on. Uh, Pooja, ma'am, this question is for you. Are you there, ma'am? Yes, I'm there. Yeah, yeah. Pooja, ma'am, uh, you know, certain, uh, you know, student has, uh, you know, sent a DM to me, direct message. And she's asking that one of her friends uh, is doing a BCom from NM college along with, along with a CA. But now she's, I think, uh, you know, she wants to come to HR. Will it be possible? I know I've been getting hundreds of applications, but uh, I would only request that child to submit application in principal's office. If there are seats, we will let them know uh, purely on merit. But right now, we are going through our own exams of SY and TY. So right now, we cannot say anything. And I would request the child to directly approach the principal's office and submit an application. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. 
And I think I must thank uh, Professor Poonam, Professor Rahul Mishra, uh, Dr. Rani Tyagi, and Professor Anupama, who has been, uh, uh, yes, I know they have been in college since uh, till three o'clock because of exams and rushing home and making these presentations. I think they deserve a big round of applause. And uh, I think most sought after courses and most sought after, sought after coordinators, so you can understand uh, Dr. Rani, Dr. Poonam, and uh, Professor Rahul's uh, position. So, um, hoping that I see all in house students in HR college in various courses and uh, uh, wishing everyone a great luck that you get the course that you want in your percentages at your top. So, all the best to everyone. But even if you miss out, don't worry. Just come down, um, eat the principal. That's me in my office. We are there to help you out. Don't worry. We are there. And HR is always for HRites. It will always be there for HRites. Also, I'd like to say that if we have rushed back home at 3 o'clock and made the PPT, uh, beloved Pooja ma'am must have got her back home at 5.30 and just logged in for this meeting. That is her level of dedication and we are just following her. <laughs> Totally agree to that. So it's her uh, motivation which also motivates us to keep on working and doing the good things. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Yes, I'll just yes, say in fact, that I, I reached home at 6, not 5.30. <laughs> and I immediately started. So thanks to each one because I believe uh, a team makes a great program and I can see uh, uh, bad students who came today, BBI students who came today, the alumni, HR is all about HR rights and uh, what stays in their heart is the HR culture. So uh, hoping that we get good HR JC students back to our own devices. Yes, so everyone is loving this program. Fantastic, you know, brainchild of uh, Dr. Pooja Ramchandani, ma'am. And yes, Sara, would you, would, would you please give the official vote of thanks? Yes. And this yes. one, ma'am, before we start, there are a few questions. BAF was related to insurance. No, BAF is more for accounting and finance. BF is more related to the entire BFSS sector, which includes insurance also. So banking, finance services altogether. And the timings, as Puram already ma'am said, that starts 9.30 onwards and goes to up to 2.30. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. So, thank you, Rahul. So, yes, over to you, Ara. Ara Kushi. Come on, come up with your vote of thanks. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Yeah. I would like to take this moment to thank our beloved principal, Dr. Pooja Ramchandani, ma'am, for firstly coming up with this brilliant idea of conducting a last minute career orientation um, seminar uh, to help students make this crucial decision and choose the best course for them. I would also like to thank our vice principal, Ms. Laju Sharma, ma'am, and the degree college teachers for making this a successful seminar and answering everyone's questions. Um, and thank you to the enthusiastic audience for being so interactive and cheerful throughout the program. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anpama, ma'am. Thank you, our, thank our you, principal, everyone. Dr. Rani, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Anupama. Thank you, Sara. Thank you. Thank you, Rani. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.